Our chamber's unique place in British democracy has never been more needed or more questioned. Two houses, one parliament is how I see it, being committed to championing our difference from the commons, our role, composition and way of working. Respect for parliament and indeed for democracy can never be taken for granted. We must ensure that our role is fully understood and appreciated. Part of our impact comes from the excellence of our members, varied, experienced, and with a broad collective memory. And of course, as we're not up for re-election, we can take a longer, if necessary, less popular stance. There's an independence as well as wisdom in our house. However, we can't take support for the Lords for granted. There's work to be done in promoting what we do and why our unusual makeup is so important. It's vital, both for our work and for the future restoration of Parliament, that the Commons values our contribution. We should have the confidence to champion how we make a difference, contributing to lawmaking, government thinking, and public policy, where our committees play such a valuable role. Nevertheless, that doesn't mean we should change and adapt, building on the best and learning from both our successes and our shortcomings. COVID has taught us that we're more open to change than perhaps we'd thought. Of course, we must tackle our size. Lord Speaker and Lord Burns and his colleagues have done us a great service and the House has taken a clear position. We must continue where they led. Before my appointment to the Lords, my career was in running charities, as a consumer advocate, in regulation, in the media, and as a historian. Having considerable experience in facilitating change, in team working, and negotiating compromises, I want to both safeguard and strengthen our role, reputation, and impact. Parliament itself, of which we're a vital part, has an international reputation. We must promote dialogue with other legislatures, especially in the Commonwealth. Within the UK, where some of us fear for the future of our union, our House could play a part in engaging with the Assembly and Parliaments to enable a dialogue and understanding distinct from the work of the four governments. Colleagues, we need to be back in the House, doing what we were put here to do, doing it better and smarter, and working together to get the very best out of everyone.